What's up guys, Malik here, and um, today, as you can see by the title of the video, uh, I'm going to be doing a new series um, of tutorials uh, for Photoshop C uh, CS6. Um, and uh, today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for a technique that I know I had a lot of trouble with, and that I know a lot of beginning designers definitely struggle with. Um, it's one of the most um, annoying um, things to do um, and it can be really frustrating and the only video that I found on this that I thought was useful was like a five hour video and um, it, I to learn how to do this I actually had to sit through the video and watch all of it because the guy was taking forever and it was just you know it was it was really just a lot of extra information that you don't really need to be able to do uh, the technique so obviously the technique that I'm talking about is illustration um, now there's better programs you can use for this but if you only have Photoshop and you don't want to download any other programs then you can do it in Photoshop however I recommend that you get Illustrator or some sort of if you have a tablet get like a program that works with your tablet um, I don't have a tablet um, so I don't know any good programs for that but uh, I'm sure with some research you could find some good illustrative programs that work well with a tablet. Um, but yeah, Adobe Illustrator would be a better program for this. Um, it's you know it's it's not as it's more frustrating and more um, complicated to do it in Photoshop, but you can do it. So uh, yeah, let's um, open up the uh, uh, our background. Um, or the image that we're going to be trying to duplicate um, through illustration and I'm just going to do uh, a simple Spider-Man sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to take too long on this. Um, sorry about that guys. Um, okay so yes the first thing that uh, you need to do is uh, come to your brush tool and make sure that it is at all the correct settings you need it at 100% hardness um, and I usually like to go with two pixels um, for the size you can go anywhere between one to five pixels um, but anything really more than three pixels is gonna look really big it's gonna be really big so unless you're working in a really big document with really thick lines I wouldn't go more than two or three pixels uh, make sure your opacity is all the way up to a hundred your flow is a hundred um, obviously normal mode everything um, besides this you should this should be the only area that you really have to fuck with um, and obviously make sure it's you know one of these brushes and not obviously you know like a crazy brush like this or something you know um, so yeah that's pretty much it just bring this up there and God fucking damn it okay there we go um, and now all you have to do is select the pen tool. If you haven't used the pen tool before or you're not good at using it or you don't like using it, it's really, it's an amazing, amazing tool. It's much better than using the magic wand or the lasso or any any other marquee tool for selections and stuff like that. It's, it's really just, it, I use it more than any other tool in Photoshop. That's just how useful it is. Um, okay, so what you're gonna want to do is first things first is make a new layer, um, and then you're gonna want to go to paths. And I usually like to make two paths, just because um, when you use the pen tool and you complete a path, um, it will highlight itself. And so I like to have an empty path just so that I can see what it's gonna look like, um, you know, without the path in the way or without the highlight of the path. Um, so uh, this, I'm just going to name it Outline, whoops, and then I'm going to go back to Layers, whoops, and yeah, I'm just going to zoom in, uh, we're just going to do his chest because I don't want to take up a huge amount of time because I know that most people just want to get in, get out, and uh, go to uh, working on it themselves, so we're going to start right here, um, and now uh, if you're coming past curves, you can do one of two things now the easiest thing is to when you click hold down your click and continue to drag in you know whatever direction you want the curve to go and then once you're happy with your curve um, 
uh, let go of the uh, click, and then press and hold Alt, and then click at your original point right there. Um, and that uh, doing that um, keeps it from giving you a weird uh, curve when you go to click your next point. So if I were to just leave it like that and then go to click, okay, I want to click right here. Oh, that actually worked out right. But usually, <laughs> usually what happens is um, it will give you a weird sort of line that just curves awkwardly. So um, it's better to just alt click to avoid that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go around and just do an outline of Spider-Man. And when you're doing this, just try to be as nice as you can um, with your, you know, lining it up. Um, because, you know, obviously this is going to be the outline and it's going to be um, a pretty important part of your illustration, obviously. So just make sure that you're doing this uh, correct. Um, I do know my friend uh, uh, Shadow Designs, or uh, I, think that's, I think that's his name. I don't, know what, I don't know what his YouTube channel's name is or whatever, what he likes to go by. But, um, yeah, he did a uh, banner for, or a uh, BG for me back on the old YouTube layout when I was... Um, just a sniper and I wasn't into GFX and so um, I subscribed to him and uh, sorry I'm getting close to the mic but um, yeah it was a really cool uh, BG and I subscribed to him and he had taken a break for a while and he had just come back and he did an illustration I noticed hmm, cool he did a Minecraft illustration let me watch this and I noticed he was he did not know what he was doing with illustration um, he was doing it in Photoshop and all he was doing um, was, uh, just going in, I don't like that, um, all he was doing was using the brush tool to do his illustration, and I was like, man, this, he must not know how to do illustrations, you know, like, I didn't know how to do illustrations, and so, I, um, that's sort of the reason that I'm making this, I mean, I wanted to make tutorials, but, um, the main reason I'm making this one, and I'm just gonna, to this part real quick. Um, the main reason I'm making this one is to uh, help him because I noticed, you know, he's, you know, not the most advanced designer, and I wasn't the most advanced designer when I was learning how to do this. So, but there you go. We have our outline. Um, we're gonna zoom out by pressing Control minus, um, and then what you're gonna want to go is go to your uh, paths. And now, as you can see, um, right here in this area. Uh, right here where the picture is, you can see that it has, you know, the outline and the uh, uh, fill. Um, now, but it's not showing up on our thing. So what we have to do is we have to go right click, stroke path, and this is why you change the settings for your brush. Um, because uh, now you can choose any one of these um, if you really wanted to, but obviously if you're doing an illustration, you're going to need to do the uh, brush. So just click the brush, do not check simulate pressure, and click OK. And now what you'll see is if I click on my empty and go back to layers and hide Spider-Man, now I have a nice outline of Spider-Man. Um, now obviously what I would do from here is continue the outline, but since I just showed you guys how to outline and this is just a tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I fill. Now. All you really have to do is, is um, right click and uh, fill path. But what I like to do, because it's just easier for me, is I will do um, outline, I'll make a new layer. It's just a duplicate of the um, outline layer, and I'll name it outline um, filled. And then I will right click, fill path, and hang on, let me make sure that my layers are in order. Okay, good and right click fill path and okay and now as you can see is it's filled and I just come here bring this layer down below layer one now it doesn't really matter because they're both the same color but if you were doing different colors so let's say I um, let's say I change the uh, fill color to like red and I did fill path okay now as you can see the red is on top of the outline and I don't want that I want that below the outline so I'm just gonna move it down and that's why you made it in two separate layers um, so that's pretty much how you do it now obviously if you want to add shading you would need to come in here and uh, you could either 
if you're trying to do like really 2D sort of shading um, without, uh, you know, if you're trying to do just really 2D shading that's not very complex, then you can just, um, then you'd have to come in here with this uh, pen tool and come around and, you know, get, you know, the outline of the face and everything and do that. And, you know, come back and come through here and, you know, um, and then you can just make uh, make selection and this is what I do um, I just come in here with my brush and I'll change the size up to make this faster and I will just draw that and this is what I do to get the shadows I will just lower the opacity and control deselect I'll just lower the opacity down to like 30 percent um, gives you a nice shadowy sort of thing um, but some people, you know, 20 to 30 percent is where you want to be with that. Um, but if you're trying to go for a realistic sort of shadow, what you can do is you can control click your uh, fill, make a new layer above that, but below the um, uh, the outline, and just come in here. Oh, hang on, and bring your hardness down to zero percent. And I usually like to have a pretty big brush when I'm doing this um, because it gives me more progressive shading. And again, you know, you're just coming along the edge. And you just bring that down to about 30%. I'm going to hide this so you can see the full effect of it. And then there you go. You have some gradual shading and not just hard blocks like what a lot of people do. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, anything else that you need to learn on how to do illustrations is just sort of your own style. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know on how to do illustrations in Photoshop. Now again, Photoshop is not very good for illustrations. You'd be better off using Illustrator or if you have a tablet, a program that works well with your tablet for illustrations. But this is what I use um, just because I don't feel like downloading uh, Illustrator because I'm getting a new computer soon and that's a whole story. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you want me to do any more Photoshop tutorials for you, I'd be more than happy to. Just leave a comment down below as to what you would like to see. And I will try to um, get that video out for you guys as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.